Let's discuss how to set up Megger's DDR500 and begin with the rotary switch. The green back selections are the two operating modes, auto and manual. When in auto mode, the TDR500 selects the optimal impedance, pulse width, and gain for the current distance range that has been selected. It overrides manually set values for these variables. In this auto mode, the user only has to set the velocity of propagation and move the cursor to find the distance to any events. Select the green background trace icon for manual operation. This is very much like auto operation except that in manual operation the user must select the impedance and may override the pulse width and gain settings that the TDR500 has selected as optimal, which it does, even in manual mode. The off setting turns the TDR500 off. It will, however, turn itself off after five minutes of inactivity and announces this with a beep. The wrench icon is the setup mode. Let's go to setup mode and cover it in more detail. Turn the rotary switch to point to the wrench icon. You can turn the backlight on if the ambient light is dim. With the rotary switch in this position, the left and right arrow keys now serve to move among the variables that can be changed in the setup. These are displayed at the top of the screen and are the light bulb icon which controls contrast. Bump the joystick up towards the top of the TDR to darken the contrast and down to brighten it. From there, push the right arrow key to get to the speaker icon which turns the speaker on and off. Bump the joystick either up or down to alternate between having the speaker on or off. A picture of sound waves with the speaker icon indicates on. When the speaker is on, there is an audible click when a valid key is pressed. There is a low beep when an invalid key is pressed. From there, push the right arrow to highlight the ruler icon, which controls the unit of measure of distance, meters or feet. Bump it up or down to alternate between having the TDR display measured distances in feet or in meters. From there, push the right arrow to display the stair step icon. This allows the user to override the TDR500's automatic gain selection which tries to optimize the display. There are three settings available, 1, 2, and 3 which are only indications of relative gain and not absolute values. Bump the joystick up or down to change the gain setting and override the TDR500's choice. From there, push the right arrow to highlight VF. This allows the user to change the velocity of propagation. Bump the joystick up to increase the velocity of propagation and bump it down to decrease it. From there, Push the right arrow to show the pulse width icon which, while representing a pulse, looks like a top hat. The TDR500 tries to get the best results for display. This setting lets the user override the TDR500's automatic selection of pulse width. There are three pulse widths available, 2 nanoseconds, 6 nanoseconds, and 20 nanoseconds. Bump the joystick up or down to change the pulse width setting and override the TDR500's choice. Push the right arrow key again to get to the final setting, Z, the impedance setting. Bump the joystick up to increase the characteristic impedance and down to decrease it. There are four impedance settings, 25 ohms, 50 ohms, 75 ohms, and 100 ohms. While there are exceptions to every rule, the impedance of coax is usually 75 ohms and that of twisted pair is usually 100 ohms. When the TDR500 is turned off, it remembers the values that have been set up and recalls them the next time that it is turned back on.